Hello dear yogis, nice of you that you choose this, well, slow flow with a lot of hip openness. Well, um, maybe you need one or two blocks. So, and when you're ready, then maybe you want to sit on your heels. If that's not for you, then try to sit cross-legged. Place your hands somewhere where it feels convenient and nice. And then when you're ready, we're going to start with two cleansing breaths. Inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth. One more. So if maybe you want to close your eyes and see if you can let go of all the daily things. And bring your focus here on your mat. Prepare yourself for your yoga flow. Okay, we're going to start. So take a deep inhale. Exhale, pull your belly button in, round your spine. Inhale, move forward, open your heart, bring the shoulders on your back, maybe look up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, open your heart, shoulders on your back. Exhale, pull belly button in and round. Last one. Come to your tabletop, spread your fingers. Hands shoulder distance, knees hip distance. Extend your right leg behind you, keep the foot flexed, keep the hips even. Inhale, exhale to shoulder and chest and inhale, extend. Exhale, shoulder, chest, and inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Bring your left foot more towards the left. Open your right hip. Keep the leg up. Reach with your right arm up and keep the foot flexed. One more breath. Return tabletop. Repeat it with your left leg. Don't forget to keep the foot flexed, hips even. Exhale and inhale. Exhale, shoulder, chest. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale and inhale. Open the hip, bring your right foot more towards the right. Keep the foot flexed, lift your leg up the same height as your hip. Start to press your left heel back and reach with your left hand up. Return in tabletop. And prepare your downward facing dog. Spread the fingers, move the shoulders away, activate the core. And bring your sitting bones up and back into a downward facing dog. Maybe bend the knees. Start to walk the dog. Concentrate on creating length in your spine. Keep the belly and the ribs in. And then move the shoulders always away from the ears. Bend the knees. Inhale, high plank. So keep the wrist and shoulders in one line. Core active. Bring the shoulders over the wrist, place knees on the floor, squeeze elbows in, low plank. Inhale, full cobra, shoulders on the back, legs active. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lift the right leg up, step into a low lunge. Square the hips. Feet hip width. Place left knee on the floor. Inhale. Exhale, send hips back, straighten right leg. Place right heel into the floor. Inhale to create length. Exhale to look down. 
Keep the left knee and the left um, hip above each other. And keep your right leg active. Now when you move forward, you place your hands on the inside of your right foot. Walk your right foot a bit more towards the right. Lift your knee up, press your heel, toes into the floor, square the hips. Place your foot in the middle, return to a downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, low lunge on the left side. Place knee on the floor, send hips forward. Send hips back, straighten left leg. Inhale to create length, exhale to look down. Keep the hips even, press your heel into the floor. Start to walk forward, place hands on the inside. Walk your left foot a little bit towards the left. Square the hips again. Lift the knee up. Start to press your right heel away from you. Step the foot back into the middle and return to a downward facing dog. Bend the knees, inhale, step forward. Lengthen the spine. Shoulders on the back, exhale, crown towards floor, micro bend in the knees. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands before heart. Inhale, circle, hands up. Exhale, leading with the heart. Inhale, flat back, lengthen in the half a lift. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, high plank. Shift weight forward, low plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. So use your yogi breath. One more. Bend the knees and then inhale, step forward, lengthen the spine, exhale, crown to floor, micro bend in the knees, inhale, circle hands up, exhale, hands before heart. Bring the weight into your right foot, lift the left knee up, Cross your ankle over your thigh, hold on to your foot or your ankle. Bring your left arm up to create length. Exhale, grab your right upper arm, open the chest. Bring the shoulders on your back. Keep your standing legs straight. Bring your left arm up, create length. Exhale, see if you can. Bring your hand towards the floor or place your hands on blocks. Keep the foot flexed. Head is heavy, neck is relaxed. Place your hands on the floor. Maybe bend the knees a bit and then one hop and a second hop. Keep pushing your sitting mats up and back. Lift your left leg up, step in again in a high lunge, reaching up, so shoulders above your hips, tailbone in, belly in, push your right heel away from you, inhale, exhale, warrior two over your right, over your left side, I'm sorry of your left side. Keep the shoulders relaxed. Keep your right hip open. One more breath. Inhale, it's a high lunge towards the back of your mat. Again, shoulders above hips. 
always observe your pose. Bring the hands before your heart, keep a little bend in the knees, and then step forward with your left knee up. Cross your ankle over your right thigh, keep the foot flexed, this time sit in an awkward chair. Try to lift your heart, hands before heart, hips even. Inhale, come out of your pose, lift the knee, step back into a high lunge. From here, high lunge towards the front of your mat. Placing your left hand on the floor or maybe your left hand on the block. Open the right hip. Bring your right arm up. Keep the foot flexed in your half moon. Place both hands on the floor, turn your toes out, heels in. Yogi squat, malasana. Tailward in, reach the crown up, open the knees with your elbows. Turn your toes forward and then inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, hands before heart. And then we're going to do the other side. So this time we bring the weight on our left foot and bring the right knee up. Cross it over your left thigh or hold on. Bring your right arm up. See if you can grab your left upper arm. Open the chest. Keep the standing leg straight so don't hang in the hips. Pull the belly button in and up. Bring your right arm up. Now send the sitting bones back. Reach with your right hand towards the floor. Maybe place your hands on blocks. Head is heavy, neck is relaxed. Standing legs straight. Otherwise, use blocks. Okay, from here we're going to hop in a downward facing dog with our legs in the figure four. So, ready? Take a little hop, one and maybe two. So, find your downward facing dog. Lift your right leg up and then step into a high lunge. Feet hip width, circle hands up. Use yogi breath. One more. Or you two over your right side. Keep the hips parallel with the length of your mat. Make sure that the knee and the toes are pointing straight forward. And keep the shoulders relaxed. Inhale, high lunge towards the back of your mat. Using your yogi breath. A little bounce in the legs and then step forward with your right knee up. Cross it over your left uh, thigh, find your awkward chair. Keep the foot flexed, hips even. Try to sit upright. Coming all the way up, step back into high lunge. Turn towards the front in your high lunge.
Prepare your half moon. Maybe placing your hands on the block, open the hip. Keep the foot flexed. Open towards the left. Malasana, yogi squat, toes out, heels in, open. You can do a variation here. Maybe you're fine here. If you want to try a bind. And then maybe you can grab your hands. Or if it's impossible, then maybe place a towel in between or a strap. And then look over your left shoulder. We have to do the other side. Wrap your arm around your left knee. Hold on to your well hands or place something between your hands <coughs> to create more length. Looking over right shoulder. One more breath, let go, turn your toes forward, inhale, come all the way up, exhale, inhale, circle, hands up, exhale, leading with the heart, inhale, flat back, exhale, a downward facing dog. Inhale, high plank. Low plank, reach with the crown forward. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a hop half in your mat and take a seat. Bring your, bend the left knee, bring your right over it and sit on both sitting bones. Hook your left elbow over your right, place your other hand behind you, inhale to create length, lift your heart, exhale, look over right shoulder. One more breath. Return towards the center. I'm going to square pose. So when you sit in square pose, try to keep the heels and the knees above each other. So when you look down, your shins are parallel with the short side of your mat. Sit on the front of your sitting bones. Lengthen and exhale. Try to keep the back straight. Keep the feet flexed and reach with the crown forward. Coming all the way up. Bring your right knee and then your left over it. Hook your right elbow over your left knee, other hand behind you, inhale to lengthen, exhale to turn into your twist. You can make a stop sign with your right hand. You can push with your elbow into your knee and with your knee press it against your elbow. And then return towards the center and find your square pose. So this time it's left leg in front. Find your square, heels and knees are well above each other. Your shins are parallel with your short side or with the length of your mat. Inhale to lengthen, exhale, reach forward. Keep the feet flexed. Inhale, 
Inhale, come all the way up. Prepare your boat, your half boat. Keep the face soft. Try to keep your shape. Keep your back straight. Don't hang in your lower back. Keep pushing your heart forward. Keep the face soft. One more breath. Okay, cross. Step back into a downward facing dog. Bring your left leg up. And step into or bring your knee on the outside of your left wrist. Maybe walk your foot a little bit more closer towards the front of your mat. Walk your right leg back. Keep the foot, flex the left foot. Square the hips. Place your fingers or your fingertips into the floor or your hands. And then try to bring your heart forward and try to bring the shoulders on your back. So keep the left hip next to the right hip and keep the foot flexed. And see if you can bring your knee more towards the, well, towards the outside. And don't forget to keep the foot flexed. Place the elbows into the floor or come all the way down. For just a couple of breaths here. Come all the way up. Bring the weight on your left sitting bone. Swing your right leg forward. Keep your right foot flexed. Reach up, create length. Exhale, start to reach forward. Maybe use a strap or your towel. Inhale and exhale, start to reach forward. Try to keep the chest open. Keep the neck in the same line as your spine if possible. And try to create length in your back also. Inhale, come up, place your left hand behind you, circle up into, well, a sort of wild thing. Open. Come all the way down. Cross your ankles, step back and downward facing dog. And then it's time for your other side. So we are in a downward facing dog. Lift your right leg up. And bring the knee on the outside of your right wrist. Walk with your right foot more towards the front and walk with your left knee, your left leg away from you. Okay. Even the hips. Push into your fingertips. Try to open the chest. Bring the shoulders on your back. Maybe look straight forward. It's always possible to place a block under your buttock if you have a lot of space there. Come on, the elbows. Okay, here, stay here. Or come all the way down. Your choice, your practice. Push yourself up, bring the weight into your right buttock, swing your left leg forward, place your right foot on the inside of your left thigh, and keep, don't forget to keep the foot flexed, reach up to create length, exhale to reach forward, one more, inhale, lift your sternum, lengthen the spine, and exhale, reach forward, and when you're here, keep the chest open. Using your yogi breath. Okay. 
Vale. Inhale, circle hands up, place your right hand behind you, circle up into a whale, a sort of wild thing. <laughs> One more breath, or maybe two if you like it. And then come softly down, crossing the ankles, taking our last downward facing dog. And maybe you want to do your last vinyasa, maybe you're fine in your last downward facing dog. Take a little step forward, sit on your buttocks. Bend the left knee. Lift your right leg up. Now see if you can bring your right arm here into your lower back, your left arm also on your lower back. Bind the hands. Try to sit on the front of your sitting bones, open the chest, lengthen the spine. Maybe you're here or try to, well, straighten your right leg if that's possible. Keep breathing. And try to keep smiling. One more. Letting go. Changing. So bend the right knee, lift your left leg up, wrap your hands around your thigh, bring it towards your lower back, and then grab your hands, intertwine them, sit on the front of your sitting bones, open the chest, bring the shoulders on your back, and then straighten your left leg. Using your yogi breath. And let go. Sitting cross-legged at the end of our practice. Inhale, circle hands up. Exhale, circle hands towards your heart. Inhale. Exhale. Bend your head towards your heart. Thank your body that make this practice possible. And thank yourself for taking the time for your yoga practice or for your hell, for your slow flow with a lot of hip openers. So we did it, um, some variations of hip openers. And well, I hope your hips are more flexible after this class, after this short class. And it's great to do if you do a lot of sitting work or if you feel that your hips are a little bit tight. Well. Thank you for joining me. Of course, I hope to see you next time. Have a great day. Thank you. Namaste. And as always, stay safe and stay healthy.